Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In our previous videos, we have had a brief discussion about the lubrication systems. In this video, we are going to discuss the types of lubrication systems. As discussed, engine lubrication systems can be divided into three types. They are the mist lubrication system, wet sump lubrication system, and dry sump lubrication system. Let's start with the first type, the mist lubrication system. This type of lubrication system is used for two-stroke engines. The lubrication process is achieved by adding 2 to 3 percent of lubricant to the fuel. Here the carburetor takes in the oil fuel mixture and the mixture gets introduced into the engine. Inside the engine, the fuel gets vaporized, but the oil in the form of mist deposits over the bearings and lubricates them. Some oil moves along with the fuel inside the engine cylinder and lubricates the piston and the cylinder. You might have seen people adding oil to the petrol tank in the older models of TVS50. It is because they employ a mist lubrication system. This type of lubrication system is simple and it is of less cost. But there is a chance of oil burning inside the engine. It results in high lubricant consumption and it also forms forms deposits over the cylinder surfaces which are not desirable. The next type of lubrication system is the wet sump lubrication system. This type of lubrication system consists of an oil sump located below the crankcase. The oil is taken from the sump for lubrication and the excess oil returns to the sump by gravity. Wet sump lubrication system can be further classified into three types. They are splash lubrication system, semi-pressure lubrication system and full pressure lubrication system. Let's start with the splash type. This lubrication system consists of a sump, strainer, oil pump and an oil trough. In this type of system, the caps of the connecting rods are provided with a scoop and there is an oil passage drilled in the connecting rod. The oil from the sump is filtered by the strainer and pumped to the trough by the sump. When the crankshaft rotates, the scoop dips into the oil trough which makes the oil splash. The splashing oil lubricates the piston and the cylinder walls. Meanwhile, the oil enters through the drilled passage for lubricating the bearings. After lubrication, the excess oil returns to the sump. This type of lubrication system is used only in small stationary engines. The problem with this type of system is that it depends on the lubricant level in the trough. Less amount of lubricant results in failure whereas high amount results in overconsumption of lubricant. Now let's move on to the next type, the semi-pressure lubrication system. As the name suggests, in this type, a part of the components are lubricated by oil splash and the remaining are lubricated by pressurized means. In this type, the oil from the sump is filtered by the strainer and pumped by means of an oil pump. The oil is directly pumped into the lines for lubricating the main and camshaft bearings. On the other hand, the remaining parts are lubricated by means of an oil splash or by nozzles. This system also has an oil pressure gauge which indicates whether the oil supply is sufficient or not. This type of lubrication system works comparatively better than the splash type. The next type of wet sump lubrication is the full pressure type system. The complete system is lubricated by means of a pressurized pump. Instead of splashing, a hole is drilled in the connecting rod through which the oil enters from the lower end to the upper end for lubrication. This system can supply the lubricant at a pressure of 1.5 to 4 bars and it is preferred by most of the manufacturers. Well, that's all about the types of wet sump lubrication. Now let's move on to the last type in the main classification, which is the dry sump lubrication system. This system has a storage tank located outside the engine block. Here, the oil returns to the tank by means of a pump and not by gravity. It consists of a sump, a scavenging pump, a filter, a filter bypass valve, a storage tank, a pressure regulator, an oil cooler and an oil pump. The oil from the sump is pumped by the scavenging pump and then filtered by the filter. The filtered oil enters the storage tank where it is pumped by the oil pump for lubrication. The filtered oil enters the storage tank where it is pumped by the oil pump for lubrication. The oil from the pump is cooled by the oil cooler before it moves for lubrication. This system can supply the oil at a pressure of 3 to 8 bar and the pressure relief valve is used to relieve the excess pressure. The function of the filter bypass is to ensure oil movement in case of any clog in the filter. This type of lubrication system is used in heavy duty engines and high performance vehicles. Well, that's all about the type of lubrication systems. Wait for more interesting videos in the upcoming days. So until then, stay tuned and stay safe. Bye.